Now we'll go on to the next one. As I said, if the patient was conscious, we were shifting the patient to the wheelchair. Now we are going to the next step of the procedure, where this procedure, where this patient is unconscious or maybe semi-conscious, we are going to transfer him to the uh, surgical unit or operation theater. Okay, because he has to undergo surgery. We have already given him some medication which can which keeps him drowsy. So we cannot put him in a wheelchair. We need to shift him to the uh, stretcher. This is called stretcher. This also has got a wheel which it can be locked. Okay, and the head end can be. This is the head end. Okay, this head end also can be elevated. Okay, we have side rails. Okay, we'll show you when we are going. Okay. Now this time to facilitate easy movement of the patient from bed to the stretcher, we have something called pad slide. Okay, this will help the patient to just slide from bed to the stretcher. Okay, and we need at least four of us. Okay, we need to coordinate with each other. And always remember when we want to shift the patient from the bed to the uh, stretcher, the bed should be a little higher. Okay, so by gravity it is easy for us to move. You can see the level of the bed is little higher. Okay, okay. the level of the bed is a little higher and the stretcher is lower. So it is easy for us to move from there. Okay, shall we get ready? We can later cover the patient. Patient has to rest. Okay, roll the sheet. Keep it closer to the patient. Okay. First, you can hold this and turn the patient. Okay. And then that side. Turn towards you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you ready? This is just to put the slide, back slide. They have place the patient almost on the back slide. Okay, this is the, it is like a bridging the gap. Between the bed and the wheelchair, we have this pad slide, which is a plastic thing, material. So it is going to be very easy for us to shift the patient from there to here. Can you put the legs on each other, hands on each other, hands over the chest. Okay, we should tell the patient to flex his neck, okay, if he is conscious. Now, if he is not conscious, the nurses who, can, who are there can take over or somebody else can be placed in that place. Okay, so we have to take care of the neck also. Now me and Mr. Abdullah who are standing here, we are going to, okay, we are all going to, at the count of one, two, three, we are going, we both are going to pull the patient, they both are going to facilitate the movement. Take care of the legs, take care of the head. Okay, so one, two, three. Okay, that's all. So it is very easy because you have a pad slide it's going to just make your movement very easy now me and mr abdullah will turn they will remove the pad slide okay now we'll be putting it on putting the sheets properly covering the patient can i have another sheet we can put the pillow for the patient and move the patient away. Take the side rails. Okay, we don't take the patient anywhere without covering them. A sheet over them. Put the side rails. The side rails on the other side also. some uh, stretchers in the hospital which has a place where you can fix oxygen cylinders and they there are see this also can be we can raise the head end okay now it is broken actually this can be the head end can be raised okay so in case if the patient has breathing difficulty and the patient is on oxygen, you are shifting this patient from ward to ICU. Okay, we need to be careful uh, about those things, raising the head. And nowadays, one more small change is, they are not using sometimes stretcher. Okay, very rarely they are using, they are using 
the cot itself. Okay, the cot itself you put the sideways and two people are taking the patient. One in the head and the other one in the one in the head and the other one in the foot end. Most of the times it is the nurse who will be standing on the head end of the patient. Because you need to observe, monitor if there is any need for the patient also should be monitored. Okay. So imagine we have finished the going to the operating room, patient had surgery, it's completed. Shall we see how do we put the patient back in the bed? Okay. You remember we learned last week we learned about post-operative bed, isn't it? So <coughs> Always, this should be brought parallel to the bed end. Now, this time you should remember which should be lower. The bed should be lower than the stretcher. Okay, put the stretchers lock so that it does not move when we are moving the patient. Okay, again same procedure. We will be turning and we will be inserting the. on each other, hands over the chest, do you want him to come that way, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. you'll be able to reach, okay, if you are a nurse who can reach, you can reach, otherwise you can put your legs on the bed also, okay, you are allowed to do that, yes, you can put your legs on the bed so that you will be able to move the patient very well, Okay, we both are only facilitating. Shall we say the count of 1, 2, 3? 1, 2, 3. Okay. Now, we, it is our responsibility to remove this. Okay, we can move it away. Move it away. Put the patient back properly. Put on the sheets. The pillows. Okay. And cover the pillows. Then maybe if the patient can come back from surgery, connect him to oxygen, body fluids, and all those things are important. That's all. Okay. Recording stuff.